Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you five features of Google Forms that new users often overlook. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my amazing sample Google Form. And right next to the title is the first feature that a lot of people overlook. And that's the option to move this form directly into a folder without having to go into your Google Drive directly. Just select just select here move to folder and that will show you all the folders you have in your google drive but you can also go in here and add a new folder let's create this new folder and let's call it forms for my library and now i have this new folder and i'm going to select move here and we'll see that this sample form has been now moved into forms for my library folder and we'll dismiss that notification now that it has been moved over now the next thing we're going to do is here in our question itself i want to show you the description so i'm going to put in this first question and say true or false You can use any image you find on the internet in your classroom projects. And let's add in all those options. And now in the description, I'm going to put in a hint for people who need a little bit of guidance before they answer the question. To do that, We'll go right here next to the required button, which I'm going to turn on, by the way. And let's select description. And I'm going to write in here, if you are not sure of the answer, watch this video before answering. And I'm going to put in a link to this video that actually does provide the answer if people watch it all the way through. Now, as I'm previewing this here in the Google Forms editor, that link is not active. But when someone views it, they will see that yes, that link is actually active and they can click through and watch that video. Now the next feature that I want to show you is the option to style your form to give it a little bit of personality and break away from this default look. So let's go up here to customize the theme and you can see here are all the default font choices. Let's change that out and I'm going to use here this Lexan Deca font and I'll use the normal weighting. And I'll do that for the question font itself and the text as well. I'm going to change to Lexan Deca and I'm going to make it a little bit larger for my viewers to read. And you can see I can make this as big or as small as I like within that range of choices. Now I can also add in an image in the header. And let's say I want to use this nice one here of some candy you can insert that into the header and you'll notice that the form changes its overall color scheme as well to match it but you can override that if you like by using these custom color options down here maybe you could use a nice little red there if you like and now you see i have red and let's change that background and make it a little bit darker as well so the next feature that's often overlooked is right here in the settings for your google form now i'm going to make this one a quiz so let's make it a quiz and you'll notice that when i select that i have a whole bunch of other options appear missed questions correct answers point values are all going to be available immediately to my students as soon as they answer all the questions on the quiz. 
I can turn that off and say, nope, they can only get it after manual review. Or I can do a compromise and see, okay, you can get point values, but I'm not going to show you correct answers right away. And finally, speaking of point values, a big time saver for me because I often would forget to assign point values. I assign a default point value for every question in the quiz. And you can see there, I've set mine at five points so that I always have point values assigned to every question that I create in the quiz. So those are five features of Google Forms that new users often overlook. For more tutorials on Google Forms, check out my YouTube channel or visit freetechforteachers.com.